everyone. Welcome to the latest 3ESI Intersight webinar. Thanks for joining us. My name is Brittany Bluestein, Marketing Coordinator at 3ESI Intersight. Today's webinar is The Value of Integrated Upstream Planning and Reserves Management, presented by Duncan McDonald, Vice President of Planning Products at 3ESI Intersight. And with that, I hand it off to you, Duncan. Thanks very much, Brittany. Good day, everyone, and thanks for taking the time to join this webinar on integrated planning and reserves. So let's get right into it. I'm sure you have all heard now that 3SI Intersight has acquired Energy Navigator. This is very exciting to us at both companies, and that has also been the resounding sentiment from our customers and the market in general, as it enables us to provide a very comprehensive and complete front office offering for the oil and gas industry. The 3SI Intersight of today has been formed through the combination of five companies, each of which brought best-in-class software and services that support varying people and workflows throughout EMP organizations. Portfolio Decisions brought strategic consulting at a very high level in organizations, as well as portfolio optimization software. 3SI, with industry-leading software, and expertise in business planning and economics. Enersight, the incumbent and best-in-class application for asset development planning and realizable production forecasting. COGS, dedicated capital management software for budgeting and forecasting, introducing actuals to come up with a blended capital forecast. And Energy Navigator, world-class industry-leading software for technical evaluation, corporate reserves, and supporting AFE and readiness workflows. So prior to the Energy Navigator acquisition, 3SI Intersight covered a large portion of the capabilities required by our customers, but there was one large gap that resulted in a lot of duplicate work and in-house built integrations that came with great effort, compromise, and inefficiencies. This acquisition and combination of businesses completes a picture that supports a holistic view of the planning and reserve space for upstream oil and gas. What we have now are all of the requisite parts of a complete solution that supports the overarching workflow of an entire organization. This solution allows people to focus on their individual jobs and not activities that were required strictly to accept or provide data from and to other parts of the business. When we look at the typical workflows that exist in a technical and corporate reserve solution, we see things like managing your base wells, characterizing your opportunities, coming up with your type wells, building your inventory of future assets, and the regulatory reporting and compliance activity that is required in all different jurisdictions. In the planning world, those workflows are about consolidating different opportunities, building accurate field development models, adding in corporate information such as GNA, debt and interest to build a complete long range plan, project managing the details for in year planning and introducing actuals for blended forecasting. And then detailed supporting workflows such as AFE, RTD, RTC, everything that a company needs to do to put their plans into action and understand how they're performing. In reality, information about base wells and production are required for all forward-looking planning as well as strategic decision making. Moreover, Technical reserves estimation and modeling type wells is a required component to characterize the opportunities that feed your long-range plan. Conversely, the reserves management process requires all of the information about your growth wells for the compliance reporting activity, but all of that lives in the planning space. These two worlds are almost invariably disconnected, and this separation creates many issues. Firstly, a lot of time is wasted to build out the related but disparate data in different systems. And that's actually the easy part. 
managing, aligning, and reconciling these worlds as operations get underway and plans change is a far more complex and cumbersome endeavor. The old saying, time is money, is not just a cliché. The dollars related to this needless, wasted time spent could be redeployed to value-added activities, allowing people to be analysts and not data gatherers. Instead of spending all of their time moving data around, your highly qualified professional employees should have the time to ask questions like, are we doing the right things? Or what could we do better to reach our corporate objectives? This also results in a lack of coordination between people and data who end up acting independently instead of working together with organized interdepartment and intercompany workflows to achieve common tasks and goals. Reserves, the basis upon which value is derived, and the ability to make informed and realistic capital investment plans to maximize that value, are the key factors in determining an upstream oil and gas company's success. Yet, all of these inefficiencies, the wasted time and money, are preventing companies from realizing their potential or at very least resulting in a suboptimal outcome. So the integration of planning and reserves provides a unified view of the assets, resulting in increased efficiency and more informed decision-making. What I would like to do now is take you through what this integrated process can look like and paint a picture of how these two worlds can collide but in a good way. So here is a picture of an integrated workflow. The big boxes here represent the different workflows that happen throughout an organization. In a smaller company, this might be the same people sitting around a single boardroom table. In a larger company, these are different people on different floors, in different buildings, in different countries that require information from each other but have no connection. The arrows represent the different pieces of information that different people need in order to complete their work. This is not a linear process, but rather a back and forth. But let me walk through it to just highlight how this all works together. Let's start at the technical evaluation, where you're characterizing those opportunities, building out your type wells, managing your base production, and decline curve analysis for both forecasted production, as well as curve fitting for your base production. Now we want to consolidate all of those opportunities and start to introduce the different corporate and financial metrics that are required for a larger long range plan. In this space, we can perform different what if analysis cases, sensitivities, different scenarios to understand what those different scenarios might look like. Now the strategy and portfolio team needs to consume that information, usually in decision units, maybe not at the well level, maybe at the asset level, or even the business unit level, to optimize the portfolio of different opportunities, understand the risk and uncertainty that comes with each of those, and ultimately make capital allocation decisions throughout the organization. Now that we have a long range plan, we need to vet that and make it very realistic. So the asset development engineers take that information and build out true field development models. They can introduce technical and commercial constraints. All of the sophisticated downtime modeling that is required, both at the facility level, the well level, frack blowback protection, of understanding you need to shut in certain wells, maybe a certain percentage, while you're fracking within the vicinity. And ultimately we come up with a realizable production stream. Then run different development scenarios. Are we running three rigs, five rigs, seven rigs? What does that mean in terms of capital required, in terms of production we're going to see? Do we have the capacity in our plants to manage that? Now, a lot of hard work, smart people, sophisticated tools have been involved to arrive at a realizable long-range plan. 
we don't want that to all be for naught. So what we'd like to do is carve out the near-term, in-year component of that for capital budgeting and forecasting, but all tied to that long-range plan. In here, we can start to introduce historical actuals from your financial accounting system to come up with a blended capital forecast of in months and out months and start to tie in all of those related workflows, AFE, RTX. Again, though, all in the context of those budgeted line items that are all in the context of your long range plan and tied right to the top level of your corporate objectives and goals. Now, all of this activity and coordinated effort can be leveraged in your corporate reserves reporting process. You don't need to duplicate. You don't need to do all of that all over again. A large portion has been done. Bring that in to support the process of progression and reconciliation, the compliance and regulatory reporting that you are required to do. Now, I think this picture will resonate with a lot of you. These are activities that are happening in all companies. But in a lot of cases, these arrows are managed by moving data around in Excel. Or in some cases, these arrows don't exist and there's a complete disconnect between the different teams in your organization. The results of that are massive duplicate effort. And more importantly, decisions are being made with just a portion of the data and or a highly convoluted picture of what is actually happening. There are significant benefits to bringing together these fit-for-purpose applications into one integrated ecosystem. First, it allows companies to quantify the current and future value of assets and their ability to deliver growth. So intimately understand the value and potential of your assets. Next, you can evolve reserves management from strictly a regulatory activity to a key part of the strategic planning process. So carry through and leverage all of that work that has been done in planning in your reserves management and reporting process, with, of course, the requisite delineation where required. Gain transparency, traceability, and auditability from technical evaluation through corporate planning to reserves reporting. So look back to see plan changes and obligations that you've made year over year to clearly see the full storyline and plan forward accordingly. Understand the impact of different planning scenarios on the value of reserves. Know how various scenarios and changes to your plan impact your reserves. And finally, link company investment plans to the reserves commitments that you've made to shareholders. So ensure that you're going to hit the targets that you've broadcast to all of your stakeholders and know when you are deviating from those targets in a timely enough manner that you can do something about it. Now, this picture that I've drawn and spoken to of this integrated ecosystem is a very exciting prospect in itself. But what's even more exciting and why we are so excited about this is that it exists today in the 3SI Intersight solution for integrated strategy, planning, and reserves. In Value Navigator, you can characterize the opportunities to generate and define your asset inventory and manage all of your base production. In Easy Portfolio, you can manage and optimize your strategic portfolio in order to achieve your corporate goals while understanding the risk and uncertainty of those different plays. In Enersight, evaluate and determine your field development plans, map out your surface flow network with all the required technical and commercial constraints, sophisticated downtime modeling to arrive at a realizable production forecast and development plan. In Easy Manage, you can consolidate all of those different asset models and start to introduce the corporate metrics to build a robust but malleable evergreen long-range plan. 
In easy execute, carve out next year's component of your long range plan for detailed budgeting and forecasting, and then reseed that long range plan as you introduce historical actuals with a blended forecast. And in AFE Navigator, introduce in the context of that budget all of your AFE workflows and readiness workflows that support the execution of your plan. And finally, back in Value Navigator, ultimately leverage all of that work in the compliance activity of classification and categorization, reconciliation and regulatory reporting in all jurisdictions, while respecting the requisite delineation between the planning and the reserves workflows. This entire ecosystem is about connecting the boardroom to operations, providing one source of the truth for efficient, informed decision making and eliminating the manual and duplicate effort to streamline and vastly increase productivity throughout your entire organization. An important part of this large integrated solution is to introduce fit-for-purpose tools that let people focus on their own world and make them as efficient as possible. Let us, as the software providers, worry about the movement of the data that is required in each of those worlds. In the past, tools have been bent and twisted and bloated into something they were not intended to be. People were forced to work in different tools or paradigms than that which best fits their needs, all just to support the larger corporate requirements. A well-planned integrated solution must also respect the investments that companies have made in other solutions and play nice with others. Ultimately, it needs to respect the different worlds while supporting all of the intertwined workflows that are required to run an efficient organization and maximize the potential of those organizations. Well, that brings us to the end of our webinar of Integrated Planning and Reserves. I want to thank you very much for taking the time to join this webinar. If you would like any more information, please visit our website at www.3esi-enersite.com and please stay tuned for more webinars to come in the future. Have a great day.